Hey besties and thank you so much for joining me in today's video and welcome if you're new here. In today's video we are going to be talking about all the new makeup releases and if I'm planning on adding them to cart during the VIB sale, why and why not and if you guys have tried these products personally, please, 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 it's so helpful, leave down below your experiences on these products. I feel like oftentimes I'm giving you guys the recommendations but sometimes I really love to hear yours as well and I think in videos like today's it's really helpful so let's jump in I will also be curling my hair today and if you are interested in my scent of the day I am wearing princess by Killian which is honestly just a nice everyday fresh sweet marshmallowy scent which I love I will also link down below my makeup of the day but it's very minimal not even foundation but I'll still link it down below for you first product on my list was the new Charlotte Tilbury matte beauty ones and I was initially so excited for the launch I definitely thought I was going to pick it up but I just don't really love liquid matte formulas. I find that sometimes they can go patchy, not blend the best, and just be a hassle to work with. I did try the Rare Beauty ones in the past, I think in a mini format, and I did not have the best luck, but I love the Dewy formula. So for that reason, I'm not sure. There is this really beautiful cherry shade that I am so drawn to. My eyes just automatically gravitate to the cherry shade, but I don't know if it's going to be worth $42 if it's going to be a hassle to work with or like a really big learning curve so for me I just don't know I really wanted these when they initially launched but the price point was pretty high and then for what it was I just didn't know if it was something I really did need at the time but now with the sale I am tempted I just don't know if I'm gonna rip the band-aid and buy it or what if you've tried it please let me know your thoughts and opinions but for me right now I'm leaning more towards no it is hard though because Charlotte Tilbury's website doesn't often do 20% off sales so for that reason I'm kind of like mm, I kind of want to but maybe I'll wait until the next one at the end of the year I know it's a long ways away but you know if I still want it by then maybe then I'll pick it up the new makeup by Mario moisture glow for $24 you guys I knew when I saw this launch I was going to get my hands on it or at least I thought but if you look at Sephora's website right now for whatever reason it's like rated three stars which was crazy so when I went and read up on you know what people were saying this one lady said she had to reapply the product three times every 30 minutes which sounds absolutely insane for a product of that price point I think it's like $24 but for a lippy you know that's pretty that is a lot and I just don't know if I want it anymore if anything I'll only pick up like one shade that way I can give my own honest unbiased review on it and try to let you guys know if I agree with those negative reviews I just like pulled that see it's a little hard to do my hair <laughs> on these videos because I can't have a mirror and I don't like to look over here because then I feel like it looks off uh, so just bear with me on the hair <laughs> anyway I think it's really sad because I love the original moisture glow formula and I think it's even sadder because I saw on the website there's like almost 10 shades available as we speak but I just hadn't seen reviews like that in a while on Sephora like three stars so let me know what you guys think about that and if you've tried the product please let me know your thoughts because I am very interested the next release we have is from the brand Merit and it's their shade slick gelé sheer tinted lip oil I love their original lip oil formula so when I saw this I was very excited at first I thought it was just their original formula but just with new additional shades but it's not it's a new formula in itself so it's supposed to have that really beautiful plushy pouty gelée formula which I am excited about especially after trying the Rare Beauty lip oil so I am going to get this for sure it's $24 
I just don't know how many I'm gonna get. I might just start with like two to be safe and see how I feel about the formula. And then if I really end up loving it, I might get more shades in the future. So that for me is like a for sure. I just don't know what shades I wanna get. I'm debating it. I know my hair is looking a little ridiculous, but just have faith, trust the process. I promise you guys it's going to look good by the end of the video. I will be unraveling the curls on this video so just trust me trust me I know it looks crazy I know it looks wild it would look a little bit better if I wasn't doing this video but because I can't really see myself too good it's gonna look a little wonky another product I have been going back and forth on is from KVD Beauty it's their good apple full coverage transfer proof vegan serum foundation it's $42 I love the packaging let's start there the product itself, I thought I would for sure get until I started seeing people say it was really drying and I don't have the most dry skin ever. Like I do have like normal to dry, you guys know this. But with that being said, it's super matte. It doesn't look like it gives any type of natural finish by any means, not even like a satin matte kind of vibe is what I'm trying to say. So for that reason, I don't know if it's going to be best suited for me and my skin needs, but if you have oily skin, this could be great for you. And I do prep my skin pretty well when I'm using foundations like this, so I do want to try it only because it is very lightweight, I did here. For that reason, I do kind of want to get it. But for $42, I'm like, listen, I have so many foundations. I don't need to try to make something work for me. If it doesn't work for me, it just doesn't. But in that same breath, there is a time and place for a matte foundation. And this one, I am intrigued. I just don't know if I'm going to get it. If you've tried this, please let me know what do you think about it. Is it worth it? Would you repurchase it again? That's really what matters. Like We can have good foundations in our collection that are not bad by any means. We just wouldn't repurchase them because we have other foundations that we do prefer much more. I want to know is this that kind of foundation or is it a really great foundation and I'm just like not knowing what I'm talking about? Let me know. There are two new products from Kosa's I have been eyeballing for a while, ever since they came out. The first one is the Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Illuminating Enhancer. Hold on, let me let me get situated. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna stick to doing makeup only in these videos. I was really excited about this product when I first saw it release. I thought it looked beautiful. It was so pretty and glowy, but um, yeah, it has three stars, which I mean, it's not great. It also only has 10, sh no, 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 yeah, 10 colors, which makes me want to throw up. Um, I'm sorry, it's just so funny. In what world are there 10 skin tones to follow? I was talking shit, which was not rightfully so. I was talking about the Kosa's, the new product, and how it only has 10 shades, and that's unacceptable, but it's not like a foundation. It is more of a glow booster, which makes so much more sense. And going through the shades, they do look nice. I will say it's $38, I almost said $42, and I do have other products like this in my collection, so I don't think it's a need. But if one of you guys wants me to do like a full wear test and review of it, let me know and that might, you know, sway my opinion. Sometimes the Kosas products can have a really funky scent to them, which I understand is because, you know, they're very natural and I do appreciate that, but, you know still something that I do consider because for me makeup is also about like the process you know and their products do tend to go bad quickly they don't have the longest shelf life so for that I'm like $38 I don't know how long this will last me especially if I'm just using it as like a priming product my grandma ended up calling me which works out great because then my hair had time to sit and it's fully cooled and do you guys see that i told you it would come out pretty i love this method so much but the next thing is actually a set and i think this set is going to be perfect for if you have a loved one or you know mother's day is coming up so i think this would be a great idea for your mama 
It's the Sephora Favorites Deluxe Mini Perfume Sampler Set. So the set is $80, which I understand that's a lot of money, but you're getting like seven perfume items plus a candle. You're getting Dylan Purple, which isn't that like a new perfume that just came out. You're getting, I think, um, yeah, Gucci Flora. I love, love, love Gorgeous Gardenia, and that one is included. Marc Jacobs Daisy, the Nest Coconut perfume oil and so much more and then to take it a step further if the loved one that you're getting this product for does in fact end up really loving one of the perfumes which you would hope so um then they can go ahead and store or online and order a full size of whichever product they enjoyed except for there's a candle in here that's an additional product you can't redeem but why would you and you could buy a full size perfume so i do love that about this set it's a really nice idea and I think it's a great gift because instead of just buying one product for a loved one and maybe risking them not loving it and then maybe having to return it, you're giving them like seven different options. That way they can pick the perfume that resonates the best with them bring the certificate in and get the full size and then still have the other ones to play with. So I think it's just a great idea and I'm even kind of tempted. But like I said, Mother's Day is coming up so it looks like a really good gift. This is the final result of the hair. Well, usually if I was in front of the camera, what I would do is get up and shake it out, run my fingers through it, do a little hairspray and all of that jazz. This will drop, it will drop a little bit, but because we did pin it while it cooled down, it does stay a lot better than if I don't add that step. But anyway, Way came out with their St. Bards collection, which I have been eyeballing ever since it came out. It comes with a moisturizing body cream, which is $38, a St. Bards gentle body wash, $28, and a, oh, a mini St. Bart's cleansing scalp and body sugar scrub for $18. I don't know if I want this yet. Like basically just thinking about it and like visualizing how it might smell, I do think I want it, but I do need to solidify that by smelling it in store before I do make a decision. But I do love the Melrose collection. It's so pretty, the Melrose place. I love their body wash. It feels incredible. It smells divine and anytime Time I use that one in the shower. I'm actually out of it currently, but anytime I use that one, I just feel luxurious. So I love that. And I feel like the St. Bart's collection is going to be very similar in that, but I just don't know what it smells like yet. So I'll have to smell it and let you guys know. But if you've smelled it, is it good? Is it bad? Is it meh, mid? Let me know. But that was basically all of the new releases I am kind of going back and forth on, debating and unsure about. And also, I think I did throw in like two products I am for sure going to get, like 100%. I just don't know what shades. I hope this was helpful. Do not forget, I know I keep saying it, but to leave your experiences down below with the products I mentioned, if you have tried them and I have not. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one besties and don't forget to comment down below recommendations for me for the VIB sale coming up. I love you. Bye!